Alexander Crowley. <laughs> I've heard you telling people you don't think your role model Rick Lee is going to make weight. Well, son, I don't know what you're thinking, but I'm definitely going to make weight. I'm going to be 200 pounds in no time. Don't you worry about a thing. Now, let's think about this for a minute. It's been three and a half years since your role model has held world championship gold. Three and a half years. And in that time, that's all I've thought about. That's it. I've thought about getting my hands on somebody in either the heavyweight division or the light heavyweight division and proving to the world that I am still world championship material. Now all my role model lights out there, they know I am. And you can tell that everywhere we go, they all cheer my name. Whether you guys want to believe it or not, you want to call me the most hated on wrestler in all of professional wrestling, I don't care. Everybody knows. I am the most popular guy in all of professional wrestling for a reason. It's my greatness. I'm the GOAT. You know it. I know it. Alexander Crowley, you know it. See, you're a great champion. Pound for pound, the best in the world. That's because pound for pound, you haven't faced me. Now, when you do face me, and what I think right now might be the best weight class in all of professional wrestling with the light heavyweights, I believe you are my toughest challenge that I'll ever go up against. You're in your prime, but I've never left mine. You see that? I'm ready for you. I am ready for you, and you just don't know it. See, you've never beaten me, not one-on-one. -on -one. I've always had your number. And the problem with you is, as great as you are, and you might be greater than me now, not, not as a career, obviously. Problem is, mentally, you know you can't beat me. And on July 30th at Melanie Lake, I'm going to prove to everyone else what you already know. That I'm the GOAT and that I will be the next RCW World Light Heavyweight Champion. You can bank on it. One cameraman positioned in the ring. For an up close and personal view. Studio Wrestling is back. RCW. Rubber City Wrestling. Presents to you. RCW Global. Rubber City Wrestling. Real professional wrestling. Not that flippy stuff. Hello and welcome to another edition of RCW Global. I'm your role model, Rick Lee. Uh, With me is Ricky Williams, and this match is, is over. over. Well, that was quick. All right. <laughs> I know. I, it's like, you know, they have a little inside joke who can get the fastest matches against these weaker jobbers. No. And so they've been doing it. And I think Scotty Stevens might have broke the record. We're going to have to check. See you right after this commercial break. School is out. Take your summer break at Melanie Lake with Rubber City Wrestling as we present three incredible events Sunday, June 25th. Watch as we crown a new world super heavyweight champion at Lords of the Ring. Thursday, July 6th, RCW gets hardcore with bike night with scars and straps. And on Sunday, July 30th, see title for title at Battle at the Beach. Three amazing events all taking place at Kim Tam Park at Melanie Lake. Rubber City Wrestling, real professional wrestling, not that flippy stuff.
Artistic Butterfly is a locally owned shop made up of all handmade crafts and gifts. We have over 30 vendors that hand make their own unique items. Our products are constantly changing. We also provide fun crafts for adult eyes only in our newly opened third room as well as homemade candies and baked goods. And let's not forget a few drawings by your role model Rick Lee. Artistic Butterfly LLC is community based. We do fundraisers for kids with cancer and we also collect non-perishable items for anyone in need. Come see us today at 498 Canton Road, Akron, Ohio 44312 or call us at 234-334-4656. Artistic Butterfly LLC, allowing local artists to spread their wings. All right, fans, we're back. It's Nesteban Negro versus the Crouching Tiger. And one-on-one, -on -one, Crouching Tiger is another one of them guys that they tend to beat pretty fast, though. So, unfortunately, I'd like to see him oh, versus Grudo goodness. El Macho in a match. See who can win that. One, two, two three. three. It's another like another quick match. I'll give them credit, though. They I show up. Get it, like, say listen, anything. listen. They show up every week, and that's all that matters, right? Uh, I guess so. That's pretty sad, man. Goodness. I mean, but I think they're here for the paycheck. All right, we're going to go ahead and take a commercial break. When we come back, hopefully we have a real match. School is out. Take your summer break at Melanie Lake with Rubber City Wrestling as we present three incredible events. Sunday, June 25th, watch as we crown a new world super heavyweight champion at Lords of the Ring. Thursday, July 6th, RCW gets hardcore with bike night with scars and straps. And on Sunday, July 30th, see title for title at Battle at the Beach. Three amazing events all taking place at Kim Tam Park at Melanie Lake. Rubber City Wrestling, real professional wrestling, not that flippy stuff. Do you need something hauled away? Are you looking to scrap that old washer and dryer? Whether you're moving, doing some spring cleaning, or just need something taken away, Fuller's Cleanout is the way to go. Contact them by phone at 234-716-9651 or on Twitter at FCO the way to go. If the stuff has to go, call FCO. RCW Rubber City Wrestling. Allow me to beg your indulgence for one moment. This is the fallen angel Christopher Daniel. The blue. Mick Foley and you are watching RCW Wrestling from the Rubber City. Rubber City Wrestling. Real pro wrestling. Not the flippy stuff. Have a nice day. Yeah. Catch RCW Spotlight Sundays at RCW Global. Thursdays only on the RCW Network on YouTube. All right, fans, we are back. James Lethal, Detroit's most wanted James Lethal at 6'4", 309 pounds versus Wendigo. Uh, Wendigo, I'll tell you what. Okay, um, I think they might have got where he's from wrong because I know for a fact Wendigo is from Boston, Ohio. And do you know what they call Boston, Ohio? Helltown. Well, and do you know why they call it Helltown? Because of Wendigo. So, uh, I'm just glad I have a quick match because I actually want to no, talk no, about no. your cute promo. Oh, did you like that? Oh, yeah, it was very great. Uh, what would you call them? Ripkinites or something? Role modelites. Uh, role modelites? Like, really? You know, what the heck? Those are my fans. I got billions of them. What fans? You know, you know how <laughs> The Rock has. Millions and millions. I got billions and billions of the Ricks fans, and they're called role modelites. I'm sorry, but when the fans do pop and see your Alexander Crowley win, look at it. Uh, look at this. He just Wendigo just got huge knees by James Lethal and still was able to fight out of it. And now he's a oh, oh, oh. He put all of it into that right there. And now James Lethal whips him back into the uh, turnbuckle. Oh, that's how you connect. And oh, the Bulldog. Oh man, I haven't seen a bulldog delivered that well in a long time. And oh, kicked he out. kicked out. I didn't think he'd be able to. I look bad, but anyway, yeah. Um, so 
Yeah. I'm excited to see that match, though. I'm just saying. Uh, what, this match? No. Yours and Alexander Oh, yeah, back, back to the promo. Yeah. Me and Alexander Crowley. Oh, I hate when they do the back elbow. You know why? I've never seen... Oh, jeez. Well, no. I love when I see that, though. That man hits that just like Arn Anderson. You know, it that's the one over. thing I will give James Lethal credit on. He's got one hell of a spine buster. But now, what now, everybody's been wondering here? what's been... Where, everybody's been wondering where, where he's been at. Now, watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Yeah, peek around the corner, but you don't see when it's coming. Oh, oh my gosh. Hits him right in the, right in the back of the skull. Oh, that's so bad. It stomps on him. Stomps on him. Oh, this is beautiful. This is so beautiful. Bad. Matt Motor, Elena Hatred, or Heathen. I said it again. Elena Heathen, both stomping out a mud hole on uh, James Lethal. Listen, James Lethal's got a beautiful spine buster, but Matt Motor does not like him, and look. Boom! It's the Unbelievable. Ah, oh, oh, whatever. Hey, look at me. Look at me yeah, out there. Look at, look at you. You know, of course. Oh, sh I, Wait, why one, is he pinning two. him? Oh, that was beautiful. That's so dumb. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. I wanted to tell you about that. What's but this couldn't. ref doing? They were. It was, yeah. I mean, it was an impromptu match. Oh, my gosh. So dumb. Oh, that was beautiful. So we had a happy ending on that one after all. No, I'm going to go whatever. ahead and take a commercial break, but we'll be back with more RCW Global. School is out. Take your summer break at Melanie Lake with Rubber City Wrestling as we present three incredible events Sunday, June 25th. Watch as we crown a new World Super Heavyweight Champion at Lords of the Ring. Thursday, July 6th, RCW gets hardcore with Bike Night with Scars and Straps. And on Sunday, July 30th, see Title for Title at Battle at the Beach. Three amazing events all taking place at Kim Tam Park at Melanie Lake. Rubber City Wrestling, real professional wrestling, not that flippy stuff. Do you enjoy indie flicks and B-movies? Maybe have a script in mind and want to be showcased? Well, the same company that gave you Footsteps and Night Z, Guru Films, is looking for more ideas. Contact us at thegurufilms1 at gmail.com or through the Guru Films Facebook page. So be sure to follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash guru films dot 420 to purchase DVDs and for updates on new films coming soon. Would you like to see your commercial aired on both RCW Spotlight and RCW Global? Contact us on social media at facebook.com slash Rubber City Wrestling, Instagram at Rubber City Wrestling, or email us at the RCW Network at gmail.com. Welcome back to RCW Global. This, listen, man, this, uh, this is a heck of a main event. We got the Global Television Championship match on right now. Prodigal son, George Davis, my, one of my favorite. What the heck? Versus probably one of the guys I, I that I think is the most annoying person in RCW. Oh, no, the, one of my favorite and actually one of the best wrestlers in RCW, Draven Post. Are you there kidding you me? The dude's a freaking... I mean, he's oh bored. great, and of course he has freaking his goons out there with him. That's I not goons; it's his management team. Oh my gosh! He's a champion. The champion should have a management team. Look at this uh, guy come out there, man. You know that's solid gold. And a lot of people are like, man, that belt's not that big. Well, gold costs a lot of money, okay? So uh, here it comes. Walk it out. Well, we'll see what happens tonight. I am pretty pumped to see how. Draven does against a very tough opponent. I'll agree, George Davis. George Davis is the champion. I know what do you mean a very tough opponent? He's the champion. Well, I know. He is, matter of fact, this show that you and I are hosts of, that is our champion right there. He is the RCW Global World Television Champion. Oh, he's not my champion. Okay. What are you talking about? He is your champion, he's my no. champion? No. And then this guy here is the RCW Global All-American City Champion walking out the former All-American City Champion in Draven Post. Yep. I say former because he got beat by his own partner. So what? It happens, man. No, nah, like... I think I'd have bad blood if I got beat by my own partner. Oh, my gosh. Not ask him to join me. Stupid. Oh, look at this. Oh, of course he comes out with his goons. 
Why you? Call, they're not goons, okay? They're not the one that actually interfere matches goons. and actually try and rig the match. One hundred percent goons. Oh my gosh! Whatever. You saw last week they interfered in my match, they and that's why I got a roll up. Oh my goodness! You're, you're just you're making up stuff now. No, I'm not making up stuff. Yes, you are. Oh, I'm already bored with the fact that they're coming heart. out Go here. Ahead, you gotta keep an eye on him. I can't stand Look at him. that. Look at that. I cannot stand him. I can't stand your racism. I'm not racist. Well, then why is it that you like the white guys, but you don't like the guys that have Well, I'm sorry. That's, that's we got, not, we got, that's we got not, a Puerto Rican why do you, and two Why black do you guys. have to bring race to this robot? Well, that's, that's what bothers me the most here. I don't understand it. It's just... To me, I just think you have a problem with people that are of different uh, nationality than you. Whatever. I don't understand. And what's this click stuff on his arm? You know, is he about to say that everything's too damn sweet and start doing the little wolf man thing? It's going to be epic, yes. Anyway. Uh, hands the belt to, of course, Will. And now we're going to see if this match can finally get started. Yeah. You better check him a little bit better. He's no cheating. No. Oh, you better check the managers, too, just oh, in case. Oh, my man. Managers too. Whatever. You sound like a snitch. Oh good, he's walking out. Maybe he won't interfere with snitch. I'm shocked. Okay. Yeah, he's gonna go talk. Probably bring a weapon. But you got two two thugs standing out there and just one Escobar. Okay. Let's calm down there. Ain't no. Look thugs. at look at George just unloading on him. You know George was kicked off the Denver Broncos in a preseason um, or during training camp because they said he was too violent for the NFL. Wow, well, this ain't the first time I heard this one. Uh, you love the So you know much. about this story, then you understand then how tough he is. Did you see how hard he hit him? No, he hit him hard. I get it, but and here goes. just watch. Some bull crap's going to happen. Bam! <laughs> just... One, two, three. Where the heck is the referee? Romano, you always just... Did you... You saw that I counted three, clearly. Okay. Right. Yeah, you counted it, like, super fast. Like, oh, I did not. Oh, I like that little short-arm um, elbow drop. I've never seen it done like that before. George Davis improvising. That's why he's the innovator of violence, man. Yeah, you know, and I'll tell you what, Draven just getting his butt kicked like I knew he would. Okay, whatever. But in your mind, he's one of the best wrestlers in all of RCW. I mean, he is. Yeah, maybe in your class when you guys came out together. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, maybe right. one of the best wrestlers in, in my class. You know, I mean, obviously we were a bunch of class clowns and flunkies, but yeah, it's a... Come on, man. You know what? He's one of the only fair fighters in RCW. Too. Fair fighters? Yeah. I remember uh, when this dude used to be, like, trying to follow me around everywhere, calling himself my protege and stuff. And, what are you and talking then, about? And uh, walking around and... You know, and then and then like uh, this. I guess you're trying to make up stories. No, remember he, when you first? Oh my gosh, you really don't remember this? I don't remember nothing. What you talking oh, about? Oh, that's right. I forgot. J.L. Watson, his partner, knocked the memory out of you or something. Oh yeah. Yeah, I still think it's funny that that barroom brawler that has no business being in a wrestling ring is the guy that basically retired you. Uh, no, he never retired. Oh, so you plan on coming back eventually? Eventually. Oh, well then what are you taking a break for? Um, well... So that you can annoy me here on the show? Yes, that's the, one of the biggest ones. It's well, fun. that's awesome. That's yes. just awesome. Yes, great. Love nope. being your partner. It's fun. And now, here we go. Draven. Okay. Oh, yeah, Draven. Game. Draven. Wait, wait. Still here we go. Draven stood up and Draven got thrown right on his oh, face. God. That was beautiful. Hold on, I gotta clap my hand. Oh, that's awful. Oh, jeez. I wish we had instant replay. Oh. Mm, that would be awesome. If we would have been able to go to the replay on that one. That's one thing we're gonna have to talk to Andrew, the producer, about. That would be kind of cool. I would, I, I would, admit, I would love to see that on here. Right? Yeah. As long as it doesn't have anything to do with negativity towards me. Because, you know, I think that you guys would pull that kind of stuff. Okay. Look at this sleeper hole. Oh, wow. George Davis with a beautiful sleeper hole. And this is not looking good. Why? Oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness. It's right. 99. Oh! oh! Ouch. 
Goodness. Oh, I, I, is it wrong for me to clap? I noticed I keep on clapping on the cam. Like, I keep. No, you don't see me clapping every time when. I, when well, that's because your guys suck. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, the guy I'm cheering on is really good. He's dominating. Now he's got a freaking uh, his form of the cross face on, and it's beautiful. You know, does Draven Post have RCW tattooed on the inside of his arm? Uh, yeah, I can see that, yeah. I mean, what the heck is wrong with him? It, 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 why, what, a, what a butt butt kiss? I respect that. What's wrong with that? Yeah, but you couldn't pay me to tattoo RCW on me. I'm not gonna make that. I, I, and Tony T, one of my close oh. friends, but as you hear, he's selling the company. I'm not a butt kisser, so I'm not about to be the one doing it. I ain't the one. Oh, man, Draven yeah. is uh, rough time. Oh, he's uh, paying uh, now. Whoa, he's pulling the trunks. Run. He's pulling the trunks. I don't know if you caught that, but he was pulling the trunks. Wow. Yeah. And now, I bet you missed that part, huh? I didn't miss anything. I didn't see that. I don't know what you're talking about. See? You like the lie for your guys. No, I don't. Yeah. Oh, so now you. he's you got like him to in a rear naked choke. Hopefully it's not an illegal one. I think it's a No, it's a legal one. He's got the hand wrapped around. No, it is legal. Him. Okay. The punches in the back, smart. Yeah, open-handed, dead. You caught that. I'm I glad did. you didn't try and call him out a little long. Oh! Oh! Wow! Oh, man, I caught that with one of them barefoot, man. His toe just dug in the back of my head. Oh, goodness! I don't know what that was. It was like a drop kick with his... That was pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it was like a spinning one. And down Probably goes Davis. One. Oh, just kicks out. Wow. Draven was just so close. Yeah, oh yeah, a little too goodness. close for comfort on my end. I ain't gonna lie, I didn't like that at oh, all. Oh man! Oh, now he's trying to work on the knee and the uh, lower leg. That's pretty smart by Draven. Yeah. Pick apart to pick apart, right, role model? Don't you ever! <laughs> don't you ever use my lines again? Oh man, you say this every time I use it, but I still do it, role model. Well, I, that's my that's my thing. I pick apart to pick apart. That's fine. But I mean, you know I, what? It I is get true. It. You're supposed to pick apart to pick apart in wrestling. Yes. Yeah, but that's my line. Oh, okay. That's my line. You can pick a start and, and pay. yeah that's my line mm -hmm. <laughs> that's funny that's Blair and James Lee yes, that was awesome yeah, I love it good good one good one on your part <laughs> you don't have very many but when you do they're pretty good uh, yeah look no. George Davis over there trying to tell him to get back he's on the ropes and what look, this referee I mean I, I get it you know we I try mean, and we try and hire the people that aren't he's really on his quite. chest he wasn't on his throat so it's fine uh, I wonder where the education system failed in our, our area and then I look at the referee and this wrestler oh my gosh well I guess he's from Honolulu. oh goodness what is he about to do next oh jeez yeah, that's kind of illegal if you ask me. I'm that was not sure. illegal. That was fine. No, it was 100% illegal. Oh, oh gosh. Yeah, well, Draven he just, a kick in the face. Yeah, he Goodness. got. Well, he kicked him in the face earlier, so it's only fair. Oh, gosh, I mean, that knee is hurting pretty bad. Man, what is Draven waiting for? See, this is a rookie mistake on Draven's part. And before you say, well, he's been wrestling for more than three years. Well, you know what? You might say that, but did you see him tackle he that went. He should have went for it earlier. I mean, yeah, but now, oh! He, he sat there and waited too long. He sat oh, there and he waited too long, and now he's doing a reverse. He's doing a, a, a single-legged Boston Crab, which is a very painful move. Yes, it is, and that is, uh, that is I actually think two. that this hurts worse than the than a, a double-legged Boston Crab. A lot of people think the other way around. I don't. Especially if you talk about Now look at, look at this cheater trying to get his shoelaces out. You see it? What do you mean? I, what I mean is he's about to try and choke him with a shoelace. Did you see him? I, I think he was just tying his shoe. He on. untied his shoe. No. All right. I'm going to go ahead and call BS on that. Oh, goodness. Tell Did he just that do a line? diamond cutter to his yeah, freaking Yeah, that, that was kind of interesting. I will say. Hyperextend the knee. I would say that's pretty cool. George Davis played possum a little bit there, taking a little bit of a breather. All righty. Come on, George, get up. There we go. Good kick to the stomach. Kick to the stomach on Draven now. He is, like, dazed. Of course. Oh, and another kick to the stomach. George ain't stupid. He knows where to hurt him. You give him enough of them shots in the liver, and guess what? Man's going to go down. And he is now down. He fell like a branch. 
uh, tree has wild. All right, George, with a couple uh, knuckle sandwiches for uh, Draven Pose. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Yes, sir. Not going good for Draven now, but uh, that leg is still well, messing yeah, with George Davis. Yeah, of course it's still messing with George Davis. He should, tried to hyperextend his knee. At dirty moves by Draven. That's Pose. not dirty moves. It's called pick apart to pick apart. How is no, that? No, stop using my terminology. It's called pick apart and stay there, or any other way you want to say it. You don't say it the way I merchandise. I actually own that freaking line. Okay. Well, I'm just saying. And now. Oh. Beautiful DDT. I've seen a bunch of people who come through RCW try and do a DDT. I've never once seen anybody hit it that One, perfectly. One, two, oh, and a kick out by Draven. Wow, think of this. I mean, uh, good stuff. Wow. All righty then. I'm trying to see what's going on. Me too. No offense, but uh, Terrence Knight's a big guy. <laughs> All right, so they're both trying to get up. They're, he's talking to the referee right now. And, and then, of course, here goes Draven. Draven taking a dirty move. That's not see. a dirty move. Well, the referee and it's going to be over. Oh, no. It is over. Yeah, over for Draven. His knee is messing up. Oh, goodness. Wait, what happened to Draven? Draven went and landed on his knee, and you know his knee has got worked on by... Uh, by uh, George Davis, and so... You sure Terrence Knight didn't try and do anything? No, come on. You would have seen it. Why do, you even, a pen. why do you always think that worse than One, two... Oh, he just kicked out again. I will admit, George Davis, man, he's a strong... Yes, he's the champ. I can't say it in this air, but yes. Thank goodness. Was you about to say a, a racial slur? No, I was going to say strong MF. There you go. Oh, 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 so, yeah, okay, just, whatever, you about to, I, I don't know if I trust you sometimes. Uh, okay, sure. <laughs> anyway, I oh, mean, another you, one, another one by He's trying Travis. for it again. And, oh, goodness. Oh, why did he let him why go? Why did he low blow him? No. You can't low blow wait, 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 wait. someone. Time out, time out. One, two, two and three. three. He's out cold. Now, let me explain something to you real quick. You just said he can't low blow him. Who stuck whose head between whose legs? Okay, but you still Okay, so that's the only way to get out. Yes, you can. It's actually in the rule books as legal if somebody dares put their head in there. Because it's one of the only ways you can fight out of it. So it's actually not an illegal move. I will say this. I feel like this is the only match I actually see um, Terrence Knight do anything. So... Wow. I don't know what you're talking about, Terry. Light doesn't ever interfere. I, I will admit that. That's pretty shocking. Unless I missed something. No, I do. you did not miss anything. He didn't do anything. Okay. You know, it, it literally was a great I match. I still say, like, that's illegal. You shouldn't blow, George, blow anyone. No, no, no. you got to understand. If somebody anything. puts your head in there, and then you're allowed to, it's fair game then. It's their fault for maybe, maybe we should look at the rule books. I know the rule book by heart. Uh, Trust okay. me on that. Uh, I am a firm rule book connoisseur okay. and why am i because i gotta know exactly what i oh, can gosh. how i can push the limit look at this look at this thunder stealer how dare he stick his nose into anybody's business wow. and that's why blackhawk and him oh my gosh blackhawk now he's just staring into him now into soul look like yeah. for a minute goodness well that was a great show even though but anyway Anyway, for Ricky Williams, I just don't understand why Black Hack I didn't stick his nose in the business. It's not a problem. I, I, for Ricky Williams, I'm your role model, Rick Lee. Join us again next week for another edition of RCW Global. Salute. Salute.